Hello again, Turtle Cube Collectors. So, I made another purchasing mistake. This is uh, this happens quite often, actually. I just buy things on impulse a lot of times, and then come home to realize it's not what I thought it was. So, this is a Turtle Cube, and I just bought it because I thought it was like a Batmobile. If you look at this image here, there's a couple different Batmobiles. And, you know, I thought it maybe was from that movie where Arnold Schwarzenegger played Mr. Freeze, you know, because those are some funky looking vehicles. And then look at these. I don't even know about this one or a lot of these other ones. So I bought this. It was pretty cheap. I bought it at like a used toy store. And uh, then I came to realize this is not a Batmobile. I'm pretty sure whoever designed this liked Batmobiles, but officially I guess it's not a Batmobile. It does say here AX and it says Mach Gear B. So Mach Gear is a line of churro cues where they actually have a battery in here and you can charge it with the controller, which I guess is this image here. And then I guess you put it on a track and the thing will go. So it's basically a track based RC vehicle, right? It doesn't steer because it's inside of a track, you know? So yeah, this thing doesn't have a spring motor. It just literally needs to be charged and have the remote controller, which I did not buy because I didn't. It was just sitting there on a shelf, right? So I'm pretty sure this battery inside of this guy is totally dead. Um, okay, well, looking at this thing, let's just see what we got. So very funky wheels, never seen these before. These purple wheels trilobes or whatever and then the body itself is possibly molded with this green transparent plastic and that's all painted you can see there there's the infrared uh, receiver so I think the controller is like an infrared controller and then uh, you can see a little bit of green I think through here I'm gonna you know I, I think I'm gonna take this apart this doesn't fold down there's one screw there in the tab like a standard churro cue so let's take it apart pretty sure the thing's dead anyway, so no harm. Now, if I had to guess, these holes here are to have rollers, so it can go inside of a track and not drag the body as much. It'll dra drag on the rollers themselves. Alright, so yeah, that's the IR receiver, and then uh, a whole bunch of electronics. I don't know why that purple piece of plastic is there. Uh, okay, so I'm sure there's a battery pack underneath that board. Ooh, okay, what, what about the body here? Yeah, so it's all this green transparent plastic. And then they painted everything around it black. So it's a pretty interesting uh, amount of effort that Choroku does to make a vehicle. Right? Yeah, that's not a separate piece, that windshield. I don't think. Is it? No, it's not. Okay. Well, alright, so it's always fun to learn about how models are made, or in this case, how toys are made. Is that thing snapped in? I don't feel like this thing is fully in. Maybe it's the screw hole on the back. else to talk about. So I guess we can still pretend it's a Batmobile because I do have 164 scale Batmobiles. And uh, here's some images of some tracks. I think this is a two set. On the side of this box is an image of this car and this white car as well. So this track here seems to be a jump. So that's kind of interesting. But really it's this track that if, the, if I could ever find this for cheap, I'll buy it just to see what the other churro cues are capable of doing, you know, doing that crazy loop. Obviously, if this is battery powered, it can run for a few minutes probably through this, but I want to know how quickly or how far those spring powered uh, churro cues can go. Alright, well, anyways, the original Batman here done by Hot Wheels. I think this is one of those retro entertainment Hot Wheels. Then I have a Bandai Charo wheels. 
which is like a Japanese high-end Hot Wheels, I believe. That's Batmobile 1989. That's one of my favorite ones. These are my favorite Batmobiles, the first and then this one, because I was a kid when that movie was out. And then uh, for a more modern, well, I don't know, the animated series. Still actually pretty old now, but I like that one. That's Hot Wheels as well. I did some 3D wheels on it, though, and repainted it. Turns out that was a, a regular treasure hunt, and I just stripped the paint off and repainted it. Okay, so I can definitely see, you know, a lot of the Batmobile in this Choro Q. So, although I didn't really... Although I wanted a Batmobile, I guess I'm just going to consider this a Batmobile. I mean, what else does it resemble, right? Alright. So, let's move this over here in front of those other Batmobiles. So we're going to leave it today with this. Uh, actually, I do have a Batman figure. This is by Bandai. It's a Gashapon. And so, he, he definitely belongs up here. Okay, well, anyways, if you see this thing online, on eBay or something like that, just keep in mind, it's not really a Batmobile. But it is definitely a funky-looking vehicle, that's for sure. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. See you around.